Well, out of all the possible candidates to nominate for Park City Television to play the longest golf course in the United States, they chose Terry Burden and Joe Davis. Joe, are you ready? It wasn't a wise choice, but I am ready. I'm excited. I like to hit the ball hard. It doesn't really matter if I hit it straight because clearly I don't. In fact, I line up 90 degrees. I've got a really nice slice. So 90 degrees to the hole, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it there. And it's the longest day of the year today. So if it takes us the longest, day, longest amount of time to play it, we have all the time we need. That's good news because I have a feeling that I'm going to need every one of the three dozen balls that I've got in my bag. But you look good, man. I think that's the most we important do. thing. We remember, you got the colors right, so at least we got that. That's right. At the end of the day, we got black on. For once, I read, for once I read the memo. There you go. All right, we're going to tee it up, and we will be keeping up throughout the day with reports from the field. And, the, and off the field, too. <laughs> out in the, uh, you know, in out the of bounds. In the hinterlands, yeah. yes. Well, one thing is for certain, if you're going to play the longest golf course in the United States of America here at beautiful Promontory on the Jack Nicklaus track, you got to have your head straight. Fortunately for us, Dr. Rich Gordon, mental coach, is here, and he's going to set us straight as to how to have the most fun and hit the best shots. Talk about your advice for folks as they're taking on a big challenge like this. Well, I think the one thing that you could do out here that would be intimidating would be to think about that 8,300 yards or <laughs> look at a 800 yard hole and go, my goodness, how many shots will it take me to get there? Well, it'll take you as many as it takes. I think the biggest advice is to, whether you're a high handicapper or a low handicapper, just mainly go out there and have fun. The low handicappers are going to be a little more competitive, but they still have to, they're going to have to hit a lot of wedges, make some putts, and uh, they can go ahead and hit the, let out the shaft today. The higher handicappers will use every club in their bag multiple times, so they might as well have fun and try to hit some solid shots. That's what I'm planning on is every club in the bag. Yeah, exactly. You might as well use them all. You paid for them. So. That's right. If you would talk a little bit about the difference between working with us average athletes and working with elite athletes who are at the peak of the sport and, and what the mental differences are in terms of, of how they approach their discipline. Well, surprisingly, the mental differences aren't that much. They're just at a much higher intensity level. Uh, everybody needs to be focused. Focus is a big key, is focus on what you're doing at the time. And, and they have to do it and we have to do it as, as uh, amateurs. Uh, the other thing is stay poised, you know, not get too caught up in good shots or bad shots. Just kind of look at the shot and accept it. And the last thing is probably course management. You know, look at a hole and say, how do I play this hole the best to get it in the hole in the fewest numbers of strokes? And those are the skills that the pros have to do, just like we do. It was certainly fun to see all the pros on a really stern test last weekend at Marion. A short golf course unlike today's track, and yet, boy, you could see some uh, some blood boiling out there without oh, yeah. a doubt. Oh, yeah. Um, the, Mike Weir told me those were the fastest greens that he's putted on and dip most difficult greens in a long, long time. Uh, the rough was, was this high right off the fairways. Right off the fairways. The, the golf course is one of the old-style courses where the fairways have some curve to them. So, yeah, it was a big, big challenge. And I was not surprised that over par won the golf tournament. Well, it's very kind of you to be out here with us today. Best wishes with all of your clients and all the folks that you're coaching. And we'll uh, hope to get a little benefit from your wisdom. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Boy, uh, i got to say, this place takes a toll uh, as the longest course of the day. 
and frankly, I'm out of balls as well, so it's time to go home. Yeah, you know, I don't think I've ever felt so good about shooting 4,000 on a long 18-hole golf courses today, so I suppose it's probably about time we wrap it up and go practice, huh? Yeah, absolutely. What was your best uh, hole? Uh, wow, there are so many to choose from. I guess I would have to go with number three. I didn't get wet at all on three, so we'll go with that. And definitely wasn't the first hole for either of us, but I'd say my favorite was uh, number four, because I actually got a one over on that one, so not bad. When you consider that's really about par today out here. Well, Joe, if I have any advice for you, man, it's just stick with the par threes, because your wedge game is... It's good stuff, man. I'm good within 150 yards. That's what our uh, caddy said. So, all right. Well, until next time, Joe Davis, Terry Burden, we'll see you.